Um, guys, we have a serious problem. A tornado has spawned into our world. I can't believe it. I see, like, a spider jockey flying by. Yeah, I went back home just to organize my stuff, and it sounded really bad out, and it was. There was a tornado, so I figured I would just start the episode here, and we'll chase this thing down. This is amazing. There's so many mobs getting sucked into it, and I'm really tempted to just jump in, so maybe we should just do that. Should I just jump into this thing? It's gonna be awesome. Oh, oh god. Okay, yeah, let's just get into it. It's too painful out there. It's safer in the tornado. And guys, since we have amazing armor on, the chance of us getting hurt in this is, is probably low unless, like, uh, Emperor Scorpion comes into it or something. Wow. Yeah, we're in the middle of a tornado. It's destroying the land around us, but luckily is going in the opposite direction of our house. And I think also the opposite direction of the mansion. It's probably a good thing. Oh my god. This has got to be the coolest mod ever created. Oh, is that a mutant skeleton? Some cool stuff going on. We need to find a mutant creeper today, guys, because I really would love to get Bommy back into the series. If you haven't seen Bommy before, in my previous seasons, I always had a pet creeper, and we need to get him back here. He needs to be resurrected once again. But, um, yeah, I was planning on doing that today, and then I saw a tornado, and I was like, oh my god, a tornado, and I chased it down, and now I'm, like, flying in it. It's like a cool vehicle in Minecraft. I can't wait to see what happens to the world, like around us. Oh, is it ending? Or no? I just didn't hear any, like, noise for a second there. That tree looks like garbage now. Alright, let's see. Let me get into this thing. The tree's, like, in my face. There's dirt everywhere, too. Now the dirt feels. Oh, wow. I see a girlfriend. And, like, a bunch of different creepers. All kinds of stuff in this. Oh, it really is ending this time, I think. Alright, what is hurting me? I keep getting hurt during this thing. Oh, man, it's over, guys. It was short, but... The hell? Okay, so I think the blocks are just... I can't even tell what's going on. I still see, like, blocks flying. I think they're just landing. Yeah. But, yeah, what we're gonna do is take the Ender Dragon. And check this out. Seriously, who did that? Oh, is it you? You're a baby zombie with a bow and arrow. That just seems wrong. Alright, so I'm going to get on this. We're going to chase that down because something seems wrong about it. Doesn't it normally disappear completely after? Wow. Yeah, it's probably going to end soon. The storm clouds are still here. And it looks like the villagers survived this. That's good. I thought they would be screwed. Alright, let's check out the destruction. It was amazing. You can see from here, it totally tore up the land. Like, so bad. Oh, man. We got so lucky, though, that it didn't go towards the house. Because if it did, all our awesome stuff could have gotten destroyed. And is that, like, the... Oh, that's what I was going to say. Is that the, like, the mycelium from uh, the mushroom biome? But it was from that, like, structure we had. that floats in the air. Hey. Oh, my God. What are you doing? All right. So, Ender Dragon, come back in here. We'll take this by foot. There's a live sheep, at least. Some stuff survived this, guys. I do see a creeper. Hmm. I think it's time. I think it is time to try. All right, so what we have here is Chemical X. I crafted it a couple episodes ago, and if you don't know what it does, it has, like, a chance of turning, like, a normal mob into a mutant. So hopefully this creeper will want to become a mutant creeper. He's kind of in a bad spot. I need to make sure I, like, I hit him directly with it, too. All right, let's go down here. Into it. All right, come here, bro. Come here. It's still raining, like, really bad. All right, in your face. And now, hopefully, he will turn into a mutant creeper. Please do it. Please, I beg of you. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, there's a chance of killing them, too. And clearly, that one didn't survive. What's going on? He survived the tornado. It was brutal, wasn't it? It was brutal. Look at the look at the area. It doesn't look good. One of the girlfriends got thrown into it or something. All right, so we'll head back towards our house. Hopefully, find a bunch of creepers and... You can kill all these zombies with bows. Oh, oh, what do you what do you want? What do you want? Don't kill me. Yeah, there's dirt everywhere now. Our whole world is like ugly looking. It's kind of sad. Sad that that happened, but awesome. I can't believe we actually saw a tornado spawn naturally too. In my evil Minecraft series, if you remember, there was a tornado, but I had to spawn it in myself because the whole series it just never happened. And I was like, I'm just gonna do this. And I spawned one in. This one came by itself. 
All right, should we um should we try it down here? All right, go right over there. <laughs> that was like the worst. No, I got him. I got him anyway. I thought I missed him for a second. Oh, he's dead again. Wow. My luck sucks right now. All right, there's another creeper, like, right there. All right, I'm going to jump down, try to get into a good position. I want to make sure I don't miss. I almost missed the last one. All right, come here. Turn around. I'm over here. Okay, turn into one. This is our third try. We only have five, guys. We don't have infinite amounts of this. He seriously died, too. I see another one. What we can do is, I mean, like, we can search around, like, really good and try to find a mutant creeper, but we haven't seen one in the entire series, so I thought this made a lot more sense. But I guess it could happen. You know I'm down here, right? Hello? What are you doing? What are you dancing for? Because you're happy you're going to be a mutant creeper? Is that why? Is that possibly why? Let me try to get to a better spot. Maybe right here. Okay, come on. That was perfect. It's got, like, a 50-50 shot, and I, I was... I was screwed every time. Oh my god. Four times and it didn't work. We only have one left. And I'm getting starving from it. Also, guys, I do want to head to the Tropicraft dimension, but, you know, kind of wanted to get, you know, bomb me back into the series first. All right, we'll head this way. And we can see where this actually started. It's got to be somewhere around here. All right. Oh, man, look at that. Right around here. That doesn't look so good. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, what are you? Okay, take this off so I can see. And you seem really mad, so I'm just gonna... Big Bertha, you. Owned. Okay, oh, you too. Oh no! That happened again with the vengeance thing. Oh my god, I have the worst luck ever. But yeah, we do have keep inventory on. I can't believe that happened. What do you mean my bed was was missing or obstructed? That seems weird. But, um, yeah, <laughs> one problem with Infernal Mobs is if you have an amazing weapon in your hand, you can actually kill yourself with the vengeance from the mob, which, which is really sad. All right, so we need to find another creeper around here. There's got to be one around. Yeah, this is where I just died, too. I don't, I don't even want to go near those things anymore. Stay away from them. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look around until I find a mutant creeper or if I can get, like, a creeper to turn into one. Guys, I think I finally found one. There's a mutant creeper. I see it on the mini-map, at least. Oh, there it is. Thank God. I used the rest of my chemical X trying to get one, and here we go. Finally, the battle is going to happen, and we can actually get ourselves Bommy back into the series. Wow. All right, so I'm taking him out with the monkeying sword here. Let's just do it. All right, so if you blow something up, it's it's going to be bad. Don't break the ring. Oh, oh, okay. This is going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, okay. We're okay. It's the ultimate armor. Did you? How did you survive that? How can you possibly survive that? That's just wrong. Oh, it stopped raining too. Amazing timing. Kind of broke into this a little bit, but at least it didn't break the stairs. All right, guys. So um, I did realize one thing. I was thinking about it, and I was like, how are we going to get Bami up into the castle? And, yeah, that would be an issue because the pets from um, mutant creatures don't teleport towards you like some of the mods do. And I really think the only possible way to do it is to um, bring it up there. So, it's on my head. How do we look? <laughs> Ridiculous. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, buddy. Don't mess with me right now. I'm serious. So, what we're going to do is just we're going to bring it up there, guys. And I don't want to blow it up up there because it will wreck our castle. So... I think for this series, we're actually going to have to wait for it to spawn in. It takes, I think, like two days. So next episode, it will be spawned in. And what we can do with the TNT we had is we can actually... Um, the cool thing about it is we can use it to, like, celebrate Bami being back, which would be awesome. All right, so where does this deserve to go? I'm thinking right here. Let me get an open hand. And Bami is where he belongs. So in a couple Minecraft days, Bami will... Be back. So all I really need to do is like have dinner and then when I get back, hopefully I'll be there. Where you come from? What's with these mobs? I see a creeper around, by the way, guys. It shows one. Um, maybe it's down here. I'm, just ch I'm a little nervous about it. I hate to see things blowing up my castle. Because I really like this place, even though I didn't build it. And some people did mention um not to put Bami near Simba because he might 
kill Bami. So I'm thinking Simba will stay up there near all our chests and Bami will be in the throne. I think it'd be awesome. But yeah, guys, what I really want to do now that I'm so happy that's working. I hate these damn ants. Should I never put them here? I want to head to Tropicraft. We haven't done it. One dimension that really needs to happen. And yeah, I think I know how to do it. I haven't done it in a long time, but um, I think I need these actually. Give me that. All right, so a coconut. If I use this, I can make... Maybe it's not a coconut. Do I need a... Hold on. Can I do anything else with this? I'm trying to see exactly what we need for this. I Oh, we definitely need pineapple. That's what it is. All right, I see one. Do pineapples really grow like this? I'm just curious. I, I never really grew a pineapple before. All right, this is for the pina colada. So I need a coconut chunk. Oh, I remember now. I remember. I'm lucky I remember this because it's like one of those things you'd have to look up on the wiki. But um, you break it with a sword to get a chunk. So there we go. There we go. All right, I got the coconut chunks. So we, I've got that and that. I need a empty bamboo mug. So the rest before that is just bamboo. Oh, those are the giant sugar cane. All right, we got that. This isn't so bad. It's not so bad so far. I've seen plenty of those around. And finally, it's like, it's calm. I mean, it's never calm anymore. And for an update, guys, on the mod pack coming out the next series, the next season. Um, I'm working on it. I also, um, I talked to the person who made the superheroes mod and they gave me permission for the mod pack, which is awesome. So that one will definitely be in it for sure at this point. And I'm hoping, hoping Jen is going to play with me. I think she wants to. I know we played a mini game a few days ago. She really enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun. So hopefully that is going in the right direction. I just think it'll be so much more interesting with two of us playing instead of just me by myself. All right, I see the giant sugar cane. I know it's not sugar cane, but it seriously looks just like it. All right, cow. Everything's calm over here. It's it's pretty good. Everything is nice. I'm staying away from those attack squids. I don't feel like fighting the Kraken right now. Not messing with them. Not going to do it. And I'm really hungry, actually. Starving here. Honestly, though, in the Tropicraft dimension, like, thinking about it, um, I'm not sure how much there is to do there. But uh, we might just spend, like, an episode or something there. All right, give me this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I used this to make... What was it that I needed to... Okay, for the mug, I needed a bunch of those. Now, also, I think I need, like, some kind of... um, Some kind of chair. I'm trying to come up with all this stuff here. I know we need to sit on some kind... I don't know if it's called a chair. That's what I'm worried about. Chair? Oh, it is. Okay. So, if I want a blue one... Click on this. Um, bamboo sticks and wool. Alright, so all these are going to be some kind of wool. So, I need either green, pink, yellow, red, or blue. If I use this, does it turn into a stick? Just checking here. All right, awesome. But yeah, the light blue one is right here, so we can grab this and make it pretty easily. I know that fell. All right, so I've got this. I guess we'll just craft it in here. Craft it right down here. Gonna be awesome. Okay, so now I can finally do this. We are heading into that dimension. Pirate ship in front of me. Okay, so I've got all the materials. Okay, bamboo sticks like that. I guess I've got some extra wool to mess around with. Can't make a dark blue one. I see how it is. All right, I've got that. I've got my coconut chunk, my pineapple. I gotta make the mug, actually. All right, the mug was, I think, just like this. There we go. So, mug, pineapple, chunk. We got the pina colada. So, all we have to do is wait till it's, I think, starting to get dark out. And then you drink it sitting down, like, on the beach. Oh, give me that back. I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> all right, so, guys, I guess I will... Is it getting late? I'm just checking. Where's the sun? It's actually starting to go down. No, this might be perfect, guys. We will head over to the shore. Get out to the beach. There's some beach, like, right over there. And I think it's going to be timed, like, perfectly with the sun going down. And we'll be in the Tropicraft dimension. And I think it's time. The sun is going down. I set up my chair, so... Just right-click on this. And we will grab our pina colada. And head into the Tropicraft dimension. I'm just making sure I'm timing this right. Maybe it has to be a slight amount darker. All right, sun is going down. And let's do this, guys. Here we go. Oh, it's working. Good thing I timed that right. All right, brand new dimension. Amazing, but please load in. 
this is a time where we now you stare at each other. Oh, oh no. Okay, this is bad. This has never happened to me before. All right, get me out of this situation. That's the worst spot ever. How did that even happen? Do I have a shovel on me? I don't have a shovel on me. I gotta be close to um the surface. Usually it spawns you in water. That is so wrong. That that is just that is terrible. Do I have a shovel? Um a shovel in here. Yeah, I've got plenty of stuff in here. Alright, get me out of this. So normally when you get here, there's like a spot for you to grab like a book and I don't know if that's good. That can't be good, right? All right, so guys, I am in the Tropicraft dimension, but definitely did not enter it the way you're supposed to. <laughs> At least, oh, there it is. There it is. That is not even close. Come on. That's that's way over there, and this is way over here. I was supposed to spawn in this water. <laughs> All right, guys, but we are here, so I'm going to do the Fanchion, and we will explore this next time. Today's winners were Momo Ayad, Lavender Golem, Quentin Nelstein and Kraken Tooth. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Freaking frogs attacking me.